Business Brain, episode 472 for Friday, August 4th, 2023. <music> Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we take an idea, we dissect it so that we can train our business brains to be a little bit better each and every time we get together. And that way we keep on living the charm life that is such a priority for all of us here. Sponsors for this episode include financingthatworks.com. That's our sponsor, Zinch, who is waiving their $250 application fee for you, a business brain listener. Uh, so go check that out. And then Miro.com slash podcast, where you can go to get your first three Miro boards for free forever. We'll talk more in depth about the details of each of those in a little bit. For now, here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And out here in Lafayette, California, I am Shannon Jean. I'm happy that it's uh, Casual Friday. Yes, Casual Friday. Absolutely, man. Yeah, yeah, Important yeah. day. Yeah, it, it, yeah sure. Still, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I'm yeah. still working on this no phone Friday concept. Not very many people get excited when they talk about it. They look at me like I'm crazy, but I just still, I'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep beating the drum. I've got to convince myself, of course, to do this. Too. That's the key. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah. it, it, um, there is, there is a benefit in, in sort of detaching. I wound up, I was away for, uh, I was away for about 11 days. The first four of them were, at a conference called Max Stock, uh, oh, yeah. which, which happens just north of Chicago, essentially in the Chicago area, uh, which is a, a conference of Apple nerds, right? It, it's very okay. much, you know, for like, especially for my life with, with Mac Geek Gab and all of that, like, it's definitely a good one for me to attend. And a lot of listeners are there. And what happened was I left on a, a Thursday morning, got to my hotel there was like the events related to the conference started that afternoon. I checked in at about noon and I said, you know, I could go to the event and get there a little early, but I don't have to, I can take a couple of hours and just like see where I am work wise and settle in. And okay, great. So I did that headed over about three and from 3 PM on Thursday until Monday morning, I was so immersed in everything to do with the conference that I really didn't have any time to, to, to do anything meaningful, you know, work-wise, at least, I, I mean, the conference, oh, like I would argue that the concert, well, yeah, the yeah, conference was, was sure. work for sure. Yeah. Yes. But, yes. but I mean the other things that go on, right. I, yeah. I, I sort of had it in the back of my head, like, oh, well, you know, I'll be able to check in and, and do some stuff in the evenings. Nope. We would do dinner with all the attendees together and then we'd wind up, you know, in the lobby of the hotel until I was like re exhausted and ready to go to sleep. And I would uh, go to sleep and then the next morning I'd wake up and, and have breakfast in the hotel and go right to the conference. And and that th was just wash, rinse, repeat for the, the whole weekend. And the Wi-Fi in the venue for the conference was not great. It was very difficult to get a laptop online with the Wi-Fi. Oh, you could get your huh. phone online, but what it did was it forced everyone to be present, right? Well, it, it or at least it removed that distraction of I'm going to be in the conference venue, but really I'm just going to be on my laptop, like catching up with email and doing this work thing and doing that, not really engaging or paying attention with the conference that often happens. That did not happen at Max Stock this year. And mm. I found it really, it was, I mean, it was great as a, uh, I spoke at the conference, but I also, it was an attendee of the conference. I mean, there were, I learned things as well as, as, you know, sharing things and as both an attendee and a speaker, not having that distraction for myself or for anyone else in the room of just being able to just lose ourselves in our laptops was huge. I, I would argue that we should like somehow arranged to not have good Wi-Fi again in the yeah. future. Yeah, yeah. Like, I like it. Which sounds good. crazy. You, you know no, what no. I mean? But I, I get it, man. I but, get it. But, but having experienced focus. it, yes. Yeah. It really it was it was great. But it it um it and it gave me some perspective. Like that that detachment, that that immersion in the conference, which therefore caused a detachment from work really gave me, you know, kind of what you're talking about with your no phone Friday thing and it's in yeah, its own way. Something there. There's, something, There's there. something there. Yeah, man. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to keep pushing it. I almost wish even 
when you're trying to have some other kinds of entertainment or immerse yourself in in reading or whatever you know yeah. whatever it, it it's and if you can't I, I wish like the apple tv or netflix had a blaster that would be like okay you're watching this thing dang, your phone is automatically in D D mode or something that uh would force you to because it's just too damn addictive and i know i'm not speaking just for myself no this is interesting <laughs> i like i wonder there's the whole automations thing where you can like uh, there, yeah. So there's focus mode on your, uh, if you yes. have an Apple device, right? The focus mode uh, allows you to set what distractions you will allow in and you can sort of categorize them and, and group them. There are also automations that can enable or disable focus mode based on certain triggers. I wonder if there is a way to say, hey, if I'm watching something on my Apple TV Put me in my TV focus mode so that at the very yeah. least I'm not getting b- bombarded. I, you know, I could still yep. pick up my phone and do whatever I want with it, sure. obviously. But yeah, that's interesting. It is. Huh. And it's such a great, incredible tool and a great device, but there's a dark side of it that uh, <laughs> I have to constantly fight against uh, to uh, to keep the balance in, in shape. All right, folks, if you're a professional service provider, are you ready to elevate your collaborative sessions? Let me introduce you to our sponsor, Miro, your ultimate tool for driving engagement in workshops, meetings, and all types of team collaborations. With Miro, every voice gets a chance to be heard. Thanks to their built-in voting functionality and the ability to time box discussions, gathering and organizing feedback has never been this fun and efficient. But that's not all. Forget the headache of syncing countless calendars. With Miro, you can easily share updates with your customers asynchronously, keeping them informed about new concepts, plans, or proposals. And say goodbye to those dull decks. With Miro's dynamic platform, your presentations get a makeover. Their frame and slides functionalities can transform your presentations, helping you win pitches with style. You get to choose from Miro's vast collection of a thousand plus community and Miro made templates for mind mapping, flowcharts, meeting agendas, research, design, icebreakers, and much more. Miro's also compatible with all the tools you're already using, from video conferencing to project management. With Miro's visual whiteboard, you can run meetings, take notes, track tasks, and foster effective collaboration. So why wait? Elevate your team's collaboration experience like never before. Try Miro today, and your first three Miro boards are free forever when you sign up. So sign up today at Miro.com slash podcast. Yep, that's right. M-I-R-O dot com slash podcast. And our thanks to Miro for sponsoring this episode. And listen, running a small business means forging partnerships from maintenance to HR. The partners you rely on make sure your business can succeed. And the best partners are the ones which can move with the flow of your business. And that's why you need our sponsor, Zinch, a direct lender tailored to small and medium sized businesses that makes loans simple, fast and flexible. And Zinch can approve up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars in under two days. With Zinch, you don't have to wait months to be approved for a traditional bank loan. You know, whether you're dealing with a burst pipe that ruins machinery, the costs that come from expanding your workforce or a big bill you didn't expect, Zinch knows you have to act quickly and their specialists will help you choose the best solutions for your needs. There are no commissions or third party approvals, so Zinch can give you better rates, faster approvals and keep your info secure. Get financing the easy way with Zinch. And for a limited time, Zinch is waiving application fees for all of you, our business brain listeners. That's a $250 value. Just go straight to our special URL, financingthatworks.com. That's financingthatworks.com. Loans made or arranged pursuant to a California finance lender's law license. And our thanks to Zinch for sponsoring this episode. All right. So we got an email from listener Todd and he says, you know, Dave's contractor story about his bathroom reminded me of a major renovation on my end way back in 2009. During this, I would come home from work back when most of us went to an office and go over all the work that had happened during the day. Sometimes that led to a conversation the next day with the contractors. Sometimes not toward the end of the project. I created a punch list that I updated each evening. 
The next morning, I would meet with the contractor with a freshly printed copy. At first, I thought he might think my anal retentiveness a bit aggressive, but he actually told me he loved the lists. He would often staple it to a wall and review it with his team. This simple exercise set clear expectations and set us up for success. Asking yourself if someone is set up for success has been very helpful in my career. He says this also lends itself to the idea of value added. I didn't have to create the list. That was on him. My initiative to create and share the list was me adding value to our relationship. I have preached this to my direct reports and my kids as they grew up. Always look for ways to add value to a relationship. Being an IT geek at heart has frequently made this easier and had huge impact on others. Simple example, I have a QR app on my Mac and my iPad. If I visit a friend who has miserable Wi-Fi password or a Wi-Fi network name, I email them or print them a QR code to join their Wi-Fi. Our neighborhood pool created an Instagram account. I sent the board president a QR code to follow the account. More than not, simple IT skills are not even on the radar of our friends or partners. Please remember, value added means win-win. I, lo- I love the idea of value added. I also love so the idea I. of atypical management. Like it, yeah. he's, it, you could, he could easily have been frustrated that his contractor wasn't printing and creating this yep. punch list. Right. And maybe the contractor was in their own way. Like most people would, would probably have maybe. something. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> right. But he didn't get yeah. frustrated about it. He just said, well, this would make this project better and I can add value to it. And again, selling it to his contractor the right way, presenting it in a a helpful way as opposed to a thou shalt must, you know. Yes, yes. That's a key thing. The delivery matters for sure. It does. But being helpful and yeah. 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 I think I think it's great. I I've had a similar experience. Um, you know, we own vacation rentals and I'm shocked that the house cleaners in Everyone we use in different properties, in different areas, uh, none of them have a checklist for the house. Like, oh, these are things I need to check. And, and my, you know, my wife, Renee, manages those businesses. And I constantly hear, they never do this. They don't check the utensils or they don't, whatever it is. Sure. So I'm just like, hey, let's create the list and give it to them. And, and sometimes they like it. Other times you can't make it crazy for them. You have to like this delivery. It, like you mentioned, Dave is really important. Um, it's like, look, you're already doing these things. Here's just a checklist. So you be sure that they get done every time. Oh yeah. I, I love it yeah. when I'm in an Airbnb and there's a, you know, a, an easy to follow checklist for, you know, checking in and checking out it. Like, yeah. it's like this sets us his, his whole idea of setting people up for success makes such a difference. And I, I've caught myself in that frustration mindset of like, let's see, ask, I, I find myself asking, let's see if they fail this time. And it's like, no, no, I don't no. want them to fail. Yes. I, you know, I, I, I want no. them to succeed. Let me set them up for success. Now, if I have someone that I'm setting up for success routinely and they're continuing to fail, that's different. But yeah. you know, it can sometimes be on us to to realize, wait, I I actually set them up for failure here. I, I need to own yes. my piece in that. So instead of doing that, just you know, make it a habit to set people yeah. up for success. Get out yeah. of your lane. Use your business yeah. brain and the skills you already have to help other people. Which leads me to what I actually think is the the much more powerful point in uh, Todd's message to us uh, is this concept of value add or yep. reciprocity always doing for others, you know, it, and like I taught my kids this growing up, you know, the four most important words, how can I help? Yeah. Uh, but yes. he's, you know, Todd's being proactive and go, well, I already know how to help. Hey, I see this little thing like, you know, your QR codes or this with that, that is brilliant. And people do remember it. And, you know, everyone loves useful people, right? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know if that's the word, right word, but Everybody loves someone that's that's handy, that can fix something, that offers that value, that value add. So that's huge. And, you know, teaching your kids, your employees how to do that for customers so everything isn't transactional, you know, yes. uh, doing doing nice things and not expecting anything in return. Man, it just, you, I can't put, I can't stress enough how that has helped me in my life, whether business or personal 
is being willing to help other people anytime. This, this is huge. And I appreciate you sending that in, Todd. Yeah, no, this is, this was great, man. I, I, I love this idea of reminding ourselves to set others up for success, whether, whether they yeah. report directly to us or not, like just making it a habit, yeah. help, help, help. And, and yeah, things will fall into place. Y yeah. You know what people do when they see people doing that, making decisions, uh, speaking with authority in a nice way, using their skills, they are attracted to people that do that in a sense of, oh, that person's a good, I want to meet that person. I want to follow that person. I want to work for that person. Yep. So those are really powerful things, especially if you're young and you're just getting started in your career, whether you own a business, you want to start a side hustle, go out of the way and you can do it in person. You can do it digitally. You can do it with a card that you put inside your boxes. We've done episodes of my, I have this freakish, uh, you know, obsession with the amazing out of box experience. If you're selling things, you're cutting, I mean, look at Apple and them, the millions or billions they put into creating boxes that people don't want to throw away. They're yeah. so nice. Yeah. How can you do that on a small scale to your, you know, uh, to your customers that are buying from you or digital products, whatever, there's all kinds of ways to do it, have fun with it and people will remember it and they will love you for it and you'll be more successful. Yep. I, yeah. Yeah. Great stuff, Todd. Thank you. Yeah, for thank you, Todd. This. Yeah. Good. Yeah. What do you have to share with us? You know, uh, feedback at businessbrain.show. Let us share your information, answer your questions. Uh, we've got a great uh, group of listeners that want to hear from you and you get entered to win a MacBook Air. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, folks, let's, uh, let's keep helping each other live that charmed life. Send us those emails. Like Shannon said, feedback at businessbrain.show. And you can be like Todd and get entered in to uh, win a MacBook Air this year. So we're more than halfway through the year. The, the chances of you winning are still really good, but there's zero yeah. if you don't send in an email. So feedback at businessbrain.show. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for checking out our sponsors, Miro.com slash podcast. Zinch is at financingthatworks.com. Of course, you can see that all at businessbrain.show. Keep living that charmed life and have a great weekend. See you next week.